No matter where you're at in the country, nothing beats swimming a jig. Now, when you look at a beaver style bait, like we make the snipe beaver, you know, you're like, what are you talking about swimming a jig, Steven? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you a, a simple modification that you can do to any style of beaver style bait to swim over top of these post spawn brush piles and put limits in your boat. Before we hop into this, this uh, jig modification video, uh, I'm going to post the winners of the new color ghost right now. So you've got you, I appreciate the comment, and we've got you. Email me at crappymanjigs at gmail.com with your address, and I'll get those shipped out to you as soon as I can. So for on the course of today's video, I'm actually going to be giving away... A pack of 20 snipe beavers and the color of your choice so let's get this video to 50 likes comment road to 10k right here because we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers but let's get into this jig modification but make sure you comment down below share this video for your chance to win 20 packs of the jig that I'm about to modify is the snipe beaver in crappy man green you know, it's, it's just a beaver tail bait with two appendages that most of the time I take off even when I'm using them. The reason I bought this mold and started making this bait was exclusively to drop on fish when I'm using live scope or forward facing sonar. But I have learned that if you do this modification I'm about to show you that you can actually throw this past brush piles and swim it over them for an insane thump. case in the work you do have to have either one or two on the water or, or make these up before you even get to the water. Be a pair of scissors or be a razor blade. So with the snipe beaver you know you've got a, a real compact package big beaver tail grub type body with two appendages. So first off I'm just going to take these appendages off what these appendages do if you fish it normally is disrupt the water as it's coming down so it gets their lateral line to give them attention that oh my god the bait's there let me go kill it but for today's technique that we're going to go over you don't need them so the grub body we're not really going to mess with there's i mean in crappy fishing there's nothing that beats a grub body in my opinion you know a lot of our baits center around grub bodies for a reason they disrupt a lot of water and they move through the column and brush piles really easily so what we're mainly going to focus on is that tail so there's two ways to do this either a you can actually just take your pair of scissors and cut straight down the tail so just like that and what this does is it opens up this beaver tail like this. Let me show you. So it actually makes it kind of like a, a flapper. Now I'm going to rig this up on a jig head to show you what I mean. So I got a 132 ounce crappy man jig head. I'm going to thread it on. But the trick is, you know, normally you thread, a jig, thread it on where the tail is going in the water like that. This way you're going to thread it on so the tail is sideways. And as you see, this opens up and as it goes through the water, it actually swims. Just like that. So that's the first way. I'm actually going to try to film this with one hand because I forgot my tripod. So bear with me, guys. So for this, you're going to make kind of like a triangle in the back of the tail. So you want to go straight down on one side and straight down on the other side. So you create kind of like a diamond with the tail. Like I said, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So it ends up looking like this. Now that may catch a fish just like that, but we're going to take it one step further. We're actually going to come in here. And we're going to go almost all the way to the grub body. We're going to go straight down. And we're going to take a chunk out of that. J 
just like that. So this is what we end up with. See, I took and cut pretty much a triangle at the beginning, well, a diamond, and then I took a rectangle out of the tail. Now let's rig this. Same as the other, uh, other uh, version of it. We're gonna take, thread it up, but we're gonna do it sideways. And that way, this is what you end up with. So now it's got insane action as it's swimming through the water. Just check that thing out. Now you load this up with a six foot rod. Uh, 132 to 164 ounce jig head throw it over your favorite brush pile and just creep it creep it over top of that brush pile and you're going to put so many fish in the boat this summer post spawn they're hyper aggressive they're going to chase your bait almost all the way back to the boat most of the time if they don't destroy it before then i went out actually yesterday caught a one person limit here in south carolina which is 20 fish and under three hours using the same technique i filmed the whole day made a nice video get home my files are corrupted so i'm gonna try to get it back out there next week use the same jig that i just made and put some fish in the boat but i really just wanted to update y'all get out the giveaways and all that so you know i try to post every friday and monday I don't want to ruin my posting schedule. So if you enjoy the bait modification, let me know. But like I said at the beginning, if you want to win a 20 pack of the beavers, comment road to 10K down below because we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Make sure you hit that red button down below. And I appreciate every single one of you. Yay!